Well, now here is the moment when class should tell. He's ranked 18 in the world, this man. Tielemann, 246. But that really is irrelevant. from strength to strength at the net. 13. That angle volley almost paralleling the net. A superb shot. Game Tillerman. <laughs> Tillerman leads five games to four. Well, now, of course, it's a terrific advantage for Tillerman that he should be serving first in a final set, which, incidentally, would have a tie-break if we get to six all. The sets are played... Uh, all sets here are played to a tie-break. Yes, certainly uh, he's played uninhibited tennis in the last few games uh, and his game has gone from strength to strength. He's had plenty of grass court practice, as we've said, and he's got, of course, everything to gain. Biggest uh, payday this year for him, certainly, irrespective of the outcome. This is a, a big moment for him. And the question from his point of view is whether it, he's up to it himself, whether if he get, does get to match point, whether he will get uh, tentative. Time. Well, Hedman certainly served a good game the last occasion. He won his serve to love. Now he certainly needs a good service game now. Fifth double fault there. That's not quite what we hoped for to start this tenth game of the set. to Tielemann. He took his chance. double faults in this game rather the same story as when he served for the match at 5-3 in the second set two double faults then but this time three match points for Tielemann
30 40. Tillerman going over to be congratulated by, I fancy that is probably his brother there. But it's been a marvellous performance by him, a great disappointment by Henman, who should have won the match when he served point at 5-3 in the second set, and he had a match point in the next game, failed on both occasions. And Tillerman let off the hook, took the match by the scruff of the neck, and he played better and better and better and you can't do anything but congratulate him two six seven six six four and an hour and 54 minutes that will ensure Enquist will like uh, about this quarter is it is starting to dry out and of course the ball because the service is dried out will sit up a bit more and give him time to play those sort of ground strokes it's amazing actually how quickly a, a grass court a grass court loses its lushness there's already patches of uh, brown grass along the baseline in the middle First double fault for the Swede. Advantage, Enquist. Underneath that ball, did Woodford the return of serve, heavy slice, and keeping so low. Advantage, Enquist. Three games to one. An important game for Thomas Enquist just to get his name on the score sheet and also to avoid going with the double breakdown. Woodford is the sort of player you always think you might have a chance to break. He's not obviously going to serve you off the court. the way when I was playing on a grass court you can hit a bad shot and it can actually turn into quite a good one that pick up from Woodford wasn't clean on any other surface it has sat up but because it's on grass the, the 
service just absorbs the bounce and ended up a nasty shot for Enquist. 30 long. So you can actually get away with playing badly on grass, but still coming away a winner. Not that Woodford uh, played badly against Sampras this morning. Quite the reverse. Out. 40 long. Chris, what are the what are the problems for a player who really doesn't feel comfortable on a surface? I mean, Thomas yeah, Henkist don't we, play on it. <laughs> yes, but well, I'm, I'm glad the one or two who don't, of course. The Barisategi isn't coming to Wimbledon, for example. But uh, Thomas Henkist at least is here, is, is trying. But is it a question of oh gosh, I can't play on this uh, this surface before we even start? Uh, I'd actually, I actually don't see any reason why Enquist can't win matches on grass. I think the problem he has is that uh, he doesn't stay in the tournament long enough for the grass to become hard and dry where it would play similar to a hard court. I think he has problems playing on a, on a very lush green court like this one still is. It's still quite new. At Wimbledon, uh, the courts are never played on until the first ball is struck at, at, uh, at, uh, on the first day. So, and they're always very green and slippery and low bouncing, and, and that's obviously something that he doesn't enjoy. If he got a good draw at Wimbledon and played a couple of clay quarters, he'd probably take them out. And if it had been hot weather, the courts would dry out and bounce higher, and he could play well from the back. Andre Agassi did it the year that he won Wimbledon in uh, 93. We just need to stay in the tournament long enough. has a, a path. We can't afford to 30, 50. serve into Woodford's pocket there, hardly having to move at all. Short take back, just blocking the ball back, using Enquist's 106 mile per hour serve to good effect. Getting into the match now, Thomas Enquist, seeded number eight. Winner of 13 career singles titles. Mark Woodford has won four singles titles, but 50 doubles titles with uh, Todd Woodbridge. <laughs> 